Everything started, of course, with the clothes and the idea of embellishment, meaning like a very expensive clothes. And, and you know, and my line is called couture, which by, for real, like is like 90% to 100% made by hand. Oh, really? you know, yes. And so... Um, and you, you call it haute couture, it's your decision? It's, 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 no, it's the, 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 it's, it's Hermene Couture. That's okay. the name of the line. Ah, that's the name of the you line. Know, so somehow I had it in front of my nose and I wanted to celebrate to the fact that it's called like that because it's all made by hand, you know, and also um, talking to Gildo, we realized that in fact we are the leadership in, this, in Bespoke. You know, so the two things together, you know, made total sense to try to translate them in a catwalk and on a catwalk. And actually, the reference to the haute couture is from the haute couture for women, and but not now. You know, I 60s. thought that's why in the sixties, you know, where the all the models came out, you know, with a number, and in women's wear, sometimes we wanted to do it, but it felt like a joke. While here, we gave them also purpose, and and somehow also an attitude. You know, because like, for example, these three men, you know, that they have the hat in their hands, you know, it's like they took the hat, at, you know, off before walking into a closed place and, you know, and, and, and everything came, you know, consequentially. And, and, and I kind of like it. it. And it plus we're giving the service that if you want to order from this, you know, because we gave a brochure with a description of all the look, you can have you know, the reference because it's in the look. So it's very technical too, it's not also, just... Also, yeah. you know, it's, it's functional, and, yeah. And I like that it gives a little contrast, it's because it's a very sporty sign with the, with the detail and the subtlety of the embellishment and of the pattern. This big number creates like a clash. A clash, which, yeah. which, which is what it's I like too and made yeah. me confident that, I mean, I could give a contemporary look, you know, to whatever I was doing even if talking about tailoring can be seen as a classic. Exactly. And, and how did you select all these different uh, fabric? Because there's an there's a extreme variety of fabric in this collection. Uh, all well, first, yeah. Where, did you f where do, you, do you find all these fabrics? It's all over the, the planet? Well, you, yes, because I mean, you know, the, the point was embellish it, you know, embellish the clothes and yes. embellish the clothes through the fabric. So I got this book that is about ornaments, uh, but I didn't want to focus on a specific period like Renaissance or Medieval or Byzantine or, you know, I just want to cross references okay. for to what I called, for me it was a book of memories actually, you know, and, and, and oh, what, what I like when I reference to something is because you know, especially from the past, it means that it, it grew with, you know, it grew within, we, we have it in, in ourselves. And um, finally, with all this beautiful embellishment that you put, especially on the, on the sweaters like that, the whole look become like a jewelry in a way, because men are not really wearing jewelry. They're not wearing jewelry and they're not, and they're not wearing embroideries unless, uh, you know, they symbolize something. But I didn't want to symbolize something because, you know, it's a language, the symbols, a language of symbolism, you know, is something that is too personal. And somehow, even if in my job you put all yourself in it, you know, you still need to have a room to be detached and make it not personal. So uh, you, you suggest something. So the, 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 the work on the embroidery for me was fundamental in give a sense of luxury for sure, a sense of embellish, embellishment for sure, but also like this comfort about wearing something extremely uh, beautiful and expensive and almost like jewelry, you know? but in a kind of, a, not, not casual, you know, but effortless way. That's what I would say. But I, I like that you use the term uh, vanitas and vanity. In, in the press for, release. Yes, yeah. for the men, because yeah. it's something that men don't really uh, uh, express. Uh, well, I guess, well, I guess because think it's it, too narcissistic or it's too... Uh, I'm, uh, yeah, but you know, since, it, since my work, you know, since I started to work on menswear, I always push the vanity of the men, you know, because it's, it's like, it's honest. At the end of the day, 
you know, if you if you take care of your style, if you take if you're interested in fashion, if you're interested in clothes, clothes that can look good on you, you know, by facto is a gesture of vanity. So I totally agree. You know, so it's good to may as well, you know, and it transcend also the sexuality orientation or uh, sexual orientation or whatever. So I for me is something that is completely integrated in our culture today. You know, and and men maybe they're not comfortable to talk about it, but I believe that they truly express it uh, today and I I have no problem, you know, to put it out there and, and, and even challenge it. Uh, last question, Stefano. You, you use the term embellishment, you use a lot of patterns, but everything is discrete. Uh, it's like the patterns or the motif are always a bit hidden in the fabric, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. you, you play with this a aspect of uh, uh, decoration. That's but this, this, this is my sense of chic. I mean, I, I, I hate when people advertise brands, you know, uh, wearing clothes, you know, so... Um, or money, uh, or, yeah? or money also. Yeah, like exactly, you know, so... It uh, has to be discreet. It, it has to be discreet because, you know, first of all, it's more intriguing. To not have it in your face is more intriguing because it, it pushes you to, to, to know more, to go in depth, you know? And that is already like something that intrigues me in in the interaction with the people generally talking. You know, if that comes also from, you know, what I notice you wearing, and you know, that I find it a very nice gesture toward that you had towards yourself, but in a very chic way, you also project it to the others. You know, so it's a quality of relationship. Yes, thank absolutely. Thank you, Stefano. No, thank you, Olivier. I love you. Me too. Thank you guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Grazie. Grazie.